I'm a huge fan of the book Sapiens by Yuval Harari and looking forward to seeing this edition. Was there a time in which um, humans were much more cooperative and there isn't evidence of large scale war? Um, and if so, how do we get back there? Thank you. Hey Lily, thanks for this. Um, actually, there is no evidence for war from most of the Stone Age. The first evidence for large-scale conflict is only from about 13,000 years ago from a place called Jabal Sahaba in the Nile Valley. And this was a little before the agricultural revolution. But once agriculture spread, large-scale war spread with it. However, obviously we can't just give up agriculture and go back to living as Stone Age hunter-gatherers because back then the planet supported about 8 million people and today we have 8 billion people. So if we really try to go back, 99% uh, of us will starve. And that's the bad news. But there is good news. Uh, the good news is that if we consider the period after the agricultural revolution, then we are now living in the most peaceful and cooperative time. There are still wars in some parts of the world. I personally come from the Middle East, so I know this perfectly well. But if you look at the overall global picture, war now kills fewer people than car accidents or suicide or obesity-related illnesses. So we can say that sugar is probably a bigger threat to your life than gunpowder. Now, this doesn't mean that things are perfect, of course. Things are actually still quite bad, but they are better than ever. And realizing um, how much we have already managed to achieve, it doesn't mean that we should become smug and complacent. It means that we should be more responsible. It makes us realize that it's not like there is some law of nature that dictates the level of violence in the world. The level of violence depends on the decisions that we humans take. Unfortunately, we've gotten so used to the current era of relative peace that we now take it for granted, and we are therefore becoming very careless in our decisions. Instead of doing everything we can to strengthen the fragile global order that preserves the relative peace of the world, countries neglect this order or even deliberately undermine it. The global order, you can say, something like a house that everybody inhabits, but nobody bothers to repair. It can hold on for a few more years, but if we continue like this, like we're doing now, it will collapse, and we will find ourselves back in the jungle of constant war. And if this happens, we will have to again start worrying about gunpowder gun much more than about sugar.